Yo, it's Friday the 13th of May. It's a stupidly small podcast. This is the weirdest intro since yesterday. Hello, Lauren Klein. <laughs> Hello, it's Friday the 13th. Yes, I said that. Well, that's, you know, some people think that's spooky, don't they? Yes, I do. I certainly do. Uh, Friday the 13th of May, 2016. Hello, Lauren Clark. Hello, Stu Farrell. I promise from next week I'll get my intros right from Monday morning. Oh, it would be a bit of a shame, though, to break with tradition on such a fine day. How are you? I'm good, <laughs> Spare. How are you? We've got to be quick today. We do have to be quick because we've got a couple of pressing engagements. And also, we some of us slept in because they had a bit of a big one yesterday. So, how was uh, your night? Amazing in Went every off. way. Good. Well, no, it was okay. No, oh. it was good. It was good. It was good. It was great. Fantastic. Have we uh, got a video of it? Oh, you, you sign all sorts of releases just in case for those things. Mm. But you never know. Can I have a video of it? Um, I invited you to come along. Well, There's a ticket with your name on it. I wanted to come and you said, no, don't worry about it. You're not invited anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, it's Friday stew. Oh, yes, it is. Which we love. Uh, even there is still something just joyful about a Friday. Do you remember last year? Let me take you back to last year when Friday uh, to you meant... And it's horrible. The worst thing... It, do you know what that means? <laughs> I don't think that means what you think it means. Um, it was a sister, though, for a bad year. <laughs> Yeah. And it's horrible. But Fridays can't be a bad year, can they? No, no, but I'm, you oh, said... Oh, the t- year. Oh, sorry. Yeah. My apologies. Yeah, completely. I'm an idiot. You're sensible. So... Makes a change. Uh, but do you remember? You were looking... F- you would be going, oh, well, I don't know the difference between Friday and Saturday. Because I work seven days a week. Because you work seven days a week. Well, now, now I work three days a week. I know. Every what day's ha- a your week. Last year must have been successful for you. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Ghosting. What would you do? Anyway, a good morning uh, uh, slash afternoon slash evening. Hey, we forgot to do that. We were going to open everything with good morning, good afternoon, good evening. That was one of your stupid inventions. This is the best thing I've ever thought of. Good afternoon, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. To anybody who works tomorrow, we uh, are with you. you in. We salute you. We are with you in spirit. I'll be working tomorrow. I'm DJing and catering at the same time. Are you? Yeah. One hand each. Uh, what I'll do is put on a long track and then get the dimmies out the steamer <laughs> and put the next track up. What are you the doing? on the platter. What are you doing this for? <laughs> oh, it's a, a mate's thing. Yeah, friend's birthday fiftieth. Nice. Uh, oh. And look, he's doing me the favour because I don't like talking to people at parties. Oh, this is the guy yeah. that said he rang me and said we need to find a job for you because I know you don't like parties. You don't want to speak to anyone. I said, all right. And so then we went. That is the best. We did did a recce on the venue. Yeah. And I've put my, I'm set, we're setting up the DJ ring in the kitchen. So no one's allowed to even talk to you. No, then I'm going to put a table in front of the sliding door. Because you know everyone talks to DJs and says, have you, have you got that one by Bon Jovi? <laughs> I don't know what, what sort of event you're doing. <laughs> you're just giving me... Yeah, we, we, just... We're doing the uh, Upper Combat of West uh, yeah. Bogan Fest. <laughs> Grade 6. Bon Jovi all day, all school night. School reunion, Yeah. Um, I can't believe that's your musical reference, Bon Jovi. I don't Yesterday's know. musical reference was Tom Hanks. You're really. Wait, to the that game. wasn't a musical reference, was it? Well, anyway, it was the Desert Island Discs, wasn't it? Uh, that's not a musical reference. Anyway, oh, list, 10. list 10. List 10, list 10, list yeah. 10. I, on Sunday, am going to, and I want your take on, in 25 words or less, Working Bees. Go. I think working bees are designed by people with money that uh, don't want to spend the money and will take advantage of friends and or family. Isn't it usually people who don't have money, isn't it? Like your state school has a working bee and like... State schools are awash with money. Oh, my now, God. Now, what I want... Oh, where oh. else are my taxes going? I mean, there's a lot of us out my there... My taxes? Ch- there's a lot of us out there with our children to see me paying a lot towards schools. Wow. Okay. Wow. And so... Oh, when was the last time school cried poor? Really? Well, I see them rowing up and down the bloody Yarra the whole time. Yes, I don't think that's your local state primary school, dear. Oh, well. Anyway, um, charming as usual by Friday, always. What uh, I was going to say is I've got a working bee on Friday and I am completely obliged to go. Today to, you're doing Not your Friday, bee. Sunday. God, I'm an idiot. Sunday. Right. Um, and I'm completely obliged to go to it. And I have... Three other things that I could be going to. And same on the Saturday. I've got a bunch of clashy things as well. But mm. but a working bee, it's like you, – and you know you go – it's the sort of thing where you go, I'll just turn up for a bit, but there's some way someone there who's no, no, holier the, than thou. No, and there's there always – the thing with working bees. Yes. Right. Please tell me. This is what I knew you would knew, know about working bees. Well, I grew, up in, I grew up in a school. 
and, and cl- around <laughs> clubs, right? And uh, that's right. You're going to find there's going to be one. Do you pain. mean sports clubs? Yeah. All right. There's yeah. going to be one real pain that thinks uh, they're in charge. Okay. Good. Yeah. You're going to have one or more over enthusiastic. So true. Run arounders, you know, and getting it all done. Yeah. And then you're going to have it's like life, and then you're yeah. going to have people that just sort of skulk around, and do nothing, all right? And then do their allotted two hours and drive off. Oh, there was one at one that we had that I was at once, and he was asked to pull all of the the weeds that look like this out. And make sure for whatever you do, don't touch the, mm. the beautiful like you know local flowers that if you that have been we've been cultivating there for fifty years. Just don't mm. freaking touch those. Whatever you do, what did he do? Pull out the flowers. Yeah. Or left the weeds beautifully. Watered them. Pay punk. <laughs> pay punk. I was gonna say pay punkies. Pay monkeys. You get peanuts. Right. Right. Yeah. And uh, was that no? That's not it. Pay peanuts. You that get means. monkeys. <laughs> Although, you know what? I, Pay monkeys, you get <laughs> It's just it's what I told you yesterday. It's just low carb, no carb. I'm thinking of food the whole time. I'm on Are peanuts you? now or grilled monkey. I don't care. <laughs> I'm serious. Hey, do you know what? You remember I told you earlier in the week that my hairdresser, ding, uh, gave, dinging going on did this week. me the, uh, talk to me about the psychology of colours and humans and stuff. Yes. She talked about how blue famously, you know, is not, an edible colour. So if so, there, you know, there was a famous artist once who made a dinner party, like a beautiful feast of just amazing food, but it was all dyed blue. And people came around and they just couldn't like, they just could not make it the way through it. Just mm. bleh, it was just bleh. Um, but the food was absolutely exquisite. Made exactly the same food without the blue. It was devoured in a matter of nanoseconds, right? There's a theory, Stu, that mm. blue is uh, an appetite suppressant and if you eat off blue plates... Oh, really? ...and just surround yourself with blue, then you don't... It's true. That's a theory. Is that why fish don't get fat? (laughs) (laughs) I've seen a lot of fat fish. No, that's a puffer fish. Look, the puffer fish (laughs) cops it in the neck every time because of people like you. No, no, no. Do you know those ones with those goldfish that are huge and explodey and have like big brains and stuff? (laughs) You know those. It's got a tumor. No, it's not. See, I always think it's a tumor, but it's not. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So. So you, you're telling me that if you eat off blue plates, I'm going to get skinny. I'm not, but I'm saying you love crazy theories and wow. crash diets and insane things to make you. Well, Chad, my housemate will come home this afternoon. I've got the bucket of paint painting the kitchen <laughs> blue, the car's been blue that. inside and out. Everything's blue. And, and you won't be hungry. All our clothes blue will look like a blue man group. Remember I mean, them? They weren't oh, fat either, see? They weren't fat, were they? Right. The blue man group. How do people exist, honestly? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. F- f- fun bag. <laughs> no. Well, we don't have time for anything. So can we just can we just go a bye bye, or do we have something to well, say? We're going to go bye bye, right. but we're going to say, look, mm. no feedback Friday this week. We've had so much feedback from you though; it's very much appreciated. That's as you why know. we can't do it. It's just and we're not organised this week. No. So as you know, but we're you running know what out the I door. think we should do? You'll. Draw. Uh, can may I draw your attention to? Uh, Bo Morris, Bureau Chief and excellent human being, Anthony Hardy, has drawn our attention almost immediately yes. to, after the episode went to air, uh, to the fact that your amazing powerhouse idea, mm-hmm. where well, you well, were going my to... My social housing idea. Your social housing funded idea. Funded by Powerball winnings. Yes. Yes. Uh, that powerhousing Australia exists. And it does yes, something. It, it's, well, what it's does it do? It's a peer-to-peer something around the Exchange and something. collaboration amongst housing professionals who are dedicated to improving lives through the provision of affordable housing. Sounds like a it, tax dodge to me. It doesn't <laughs> sound quite as uh, altruistic as my idea. No, I don't think so either, but I wouldn't know anything because I haven't actually looked into it. But, but just a good example of the fine feedback we get all week and uh, beyond from you lovely people. And but it's, it's also just hilarious how sometimes you can have an idea mm, and totally steals Totally, totally off your own thing someone and someone it. else has already has already had it. A bunch of real estate agents pinch the idea from me and just add an ING and think it's an idea. What? What? You think they did that as it went to air? 
well, they're just listening and happen. they went little, 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 with their little fingers and touched it in. Strange things have happened. Lauren Jeez, Clark, good, aren't they? how does the Real Estate Industry Association of Australia get involved with us? They can go to a stupidly big stew. We're stupidlybig.com, stupidly big on Facebook, stupidly big on Twitter. We're stupidly small slash stupidly big slash whatever. If you search a few terms, you'll find us in the Apple iTunes show. Oh where uh, you can leave us a rating or a review and that, my friends, is how to contribute to the show in a meaningful way. Stuart? It's safe into a good Friday the 13th. Yeah. Happy Friday the 13th, everybody. Apologies for the quick episode. Yeah. Thanks for the fun week, Lauren Clark. Yeah, as always, Stu. <laughs> right. Have a good weekend and uh, see you on the other side of the working bee. Oh, well, I'll see you on the other side of the weekend, potentially. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs>